Defiance College's Foundations of Education course gathered for a diversity training facilitated by Mercedes Clay, Director of Intercultural Relations. The purpose of the event was to acquaint students with issues of cultural diversity. Prior to the event, areas of Bunkerville, named by Mercedes, were blocked off with masking tape to designate certain types of communities. Students picked a number at random and were assigned to an area, and were not told what community they were a part of. I was in one of the societies today, and my society was the elderly society, and I guess um, we kind of found out off back which society we were because the stereotypes that were thrown at us. And I thought it was very interesting. I mean, I kind of found it funny at times, but then it was very frustrating also. There were six communities. Rich, elderly, African-American, Hispanic, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered, and Islamic. Students had to improve their communities by securing bank loans for building projects and had to be escorted by the chief of police to city offices. James Bawari voices the frustrations of the students. This activity today, it uh, taught me a lot. I was the chief of police, so I was going around... Uh, making sure everything was safe for uh, the community areas. And um, what I got out of it most was uh, people, people were very, very uh, shocked at the uh, attitudes that I gave them, you know, based, on, based upon the community that they were in. Secretary of Permits, Asia Williams, denied and approved aid based on biased reasons. Today, um, this activity, I believe it was very fun. I was the secretary, so I was able to say, no, you can't go here, or your color, I don't like your kind, or stuff like that. It was very fun, out of my character, because I'm a very nice person. But I don't know, I thought it was a very good learning experience because it allowed people to realize that just because you have money, you still have problems. Mayor of Bunkerville, Quan Williams, was bribed by money and gave donations to certain communities based on biased community stereotypes. According to Quan Williams, this event has opened his eyes to the stereotypes that he had previously and unknowingly used on different types of people. My job title today was um, to be the mayor of the town. And um, what the mayor had to accept or deny, like um, permits to, um, to build different things such as churches, houses, and um, community buildings and things of that nature. Um, I learned that how people expressions, you know, they when you stereotype people, how they change and um, how they try to bribe you to get what they want and um, how they sometimes they really got frustrated, like they really got mad because they didn't know what was going on. So they opened their eyes of um, stereotypes of different cultures that they're not in or related to. And um, for me, it taught me how kind of stereotypes I use myself as being the mayor, like the stuff, um, I was saying like um, certain people need to do this and then realize it opened my eyes that I say these stereotypes without even kn knowing or not even realize what I'm saying to different types of people. After much confusion and frustration, Mercedes Clay debriefed the students on the importance of the event. Mercedes said to the students, as teachers you will face challenges with your students based on the communities they are in. Families from different communities face different issues and your students will carry the blunt of those issues. Depending on the school district that you were placed in, you will face restrictions based on levies passing or failing. At the center of Mercedes' argument was the question, think about the schools you are going into. How will you reach the children? 